morning bob's here and it's around eight o'clock and i left for pillar in the morning at around seven o'clock from Geelong. so it will take around eight to nine hours with halts in between most probably there will be a stop at the day so stay tuned with us Uh, the river that is flowing is actually uh, Chenab river and uh, the roads till now have been pretty okay won't complain much about it but uh, what I wanted to make clear is uh, it's the month of July at the moment and you can see clear skies and when uh, in other parts of India it might be still raining because the monsoon will be already set in uh, so here it's quite dry weather and you can see clear skies and this uh, road will be pathetic as uh, we approach These are the Himalayan ranges that you can see at a distance. Um, one more thing to note that uh, Kilar is a spot from where you can go down to Chamba in Himachal itself, or you can go to Kishtwar, which will take you further to Anantnag and Srinagar in Jammu and Kashmir. So, this is a very important communication uh, this road route. So, from Kelong, you can either jump to Srinagar or you can either go to Patan. So, both are the options that are open for you if you take this route. Hello guys, Bob's here. So, the main purpose of taking this video is to show the condition of the road. I was telling like uh, around Udaipur and where after the roads are going to be pathetic even I asked locals and roads were not so good I was pretty happy up to Udaipur that there were very good stretches of roads here and there but now the roads are not that great and this is the river Chinab flowing along and we are literally actually uh, going through the Nalla so the Nalla is simply flowing along with the uh, going along the road as you can see uh, I am just now crossing a waterfall like thing so the nalla is flowing within and this is a kind of culvert that was there at place so thankfully the culvert has been made properly and water is not flowing on the road instead it's going down so good work by the road construction department One thing to note, what I want to show you here uh, are the waterfalls. So, if you go from Kelong to Kilar, you will find quite a number of waterfalls, and those are very tall ones. But you can't get a close view of them 
you will get a far view of them. So use your zoom camera to maximum extent and you will get the feel of it. As you can see, the roads are dusty, not metal, and uh, it's difficult to maintain such roads when you have nullas and waterfalls all over the place. It's a good place to visit, but don't expect uh, good roads. You know, same is the problem towards Krishtawar as well as towards Chamba. So be ready. afternoon now and uh, uh, we will reach uh, Kilar quite soon so the views are going to be pretty similar all through and expectedly uh, we are reaching Kilar by around 3 3.30 so that's it for the day bye guys